Gentlemen, ladies, and anyone in between, I welcome you all. And today, we're going to find out who makes the best split ring pliers in the world. No. <laughs> today was actually starting off to be a good day, and then I, I, I opened up my package, and my new split ring pliers came in the mail. I was all excited, as excited as you could possibly be over a pair of split ring pliers, because I wanted to compare my favorites, which were these. And I bought a new pair, because they were on sale for 10 bucks on Amazon. And uh, I wanted to compare them to a brand that has been the industry standard and uh, a company that I'm familiar with only through their flush cutters. I've never used their split ring pliers, but I've heard great things about them. The Jurons, I think that's how you pronounce it. But lo and behold, this video is going to be more or less a rant on uh, what the hell happened to Texas Tackle. So here's my pair that I've been using for the past, I don't know, five years. A couple thousand lures with the hook swaps and changes. Love them. Compared them to the real cheap $6 KVDs. These things blow them out of the water. You guys have had great success with these and say, you got to try these out. You got to try these out. So it's a couple years later because I've been so happy with these. I never bothered to move outside my happy place uh, that I'm finally getting to it. And I ordered a brand new pair again because they're 10 bucks. And lo and behold, what did they do? Take a look at this, guys. These are not the same pliers that they once were. Not only are they thinner overall, like the metal here, you can see how much thinner it is. Watch this. So look here, the handles are kind of smaller, right? And look at this. I can almost break them in my hands. Whereas with this one, I'm a lefty too. So my left hand is a lot stronger than my right. Big difference here. And on top of that, not only are they more flimsy, right? They lack the coating, whether that's a corrosion resistance coating, I don't know. But it's on mine. That's an extra process. Not only are the silver ones thinner all together, but if you look at the jaw tips, they're bulkier. They ground off less material. So you can't get down to a smaller ring. Now, I've already shot this video expecting them to be the same, but immediately noticed that they were a little bit bulkier out here at the tip, although thinner through here. And same thing can be said when comparing the wedge. And when I was trying all the different sizes of split rings, right? So you have every split ring known to fishing right here, a size 2O, which is this guy all the way here, the little tiny one, which is like a size 00, zero to some JDM brands, a size one plus for decoy. They're, they're, there's different numbers used to describe them, but they're ultralight trout size split rings, about as small as you're gonna get. I think I have some from Valley Hill. They're a little bit smaller, which were not an issue with this, but with this, Good luck. <laughs> so they're flimsier. They're, I mean, they feel like they're physically lighter, which that doesn't matter. I'm just trying to give you guys an idea of the, the heft and the, the amount of material taken out of them. But they don't work on as wide a range as the originals did. I don't even know if these are originals. Very strange. And uh, yeah, so using the Zorons versus the Texas Tackle, for me to say that these are better, like mine that I've come to use for the last couple of years and say and have said are the best, for me to say these are better than the Jurons, I, unless I really put a lot of time on these and get past the difference in learning curve. And again, it's split ring pliers. It's not rocket science. But you know, to be efficient and quick and fast with them, uh, I, I, I just think these are better for general duty from ultralight up to we'll say striped bass tuna duty you don't want to be using either of these because what happens when you get up to the real beefy stuff like this here here's a 200 pound ring from bkk and one of their inline singles you got to really pull to get that that ring separated to get around the eye of the hook whereas if you bought a an appropriate size green or blue handle texas tackle uh the wedge is such that it will open up wider and it's not that far from the actual joint so you get a lot more leverage to spread the ring 
Now, are you going to be using those on the smaller size rings? No, you're not even going to be using those on the striped bass rings like these. Again, with the big green handle. So this is a Wolverine split ring. Very soft metal, very malleable, very easy to, to spread like so. And if you're using Gerons on the Wolverines, there really isn't much of a difference in ease of application on and off. But I find myself with a lot of the lighter stuff that I actually have to take it off and get my hands involved, which when it comes to doing that on, on smaller plugs, here's just one I had line off, off camera. See this? So you have to use your hands more to get everything lined up. And it's a little bit clumsy. See, it doesn't want to actually do the work for me. I find that more and more I have to go ahead, get in with my fingers, and finish the hook off the rest of the way. Whereas with my originals, it's just boom. Do, 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 make a liar out of me. And then it comes right off. I'm going to spin it back because I don't feel like taking the hook off. But you get the point. But now, actually, before we move on, wow, these are so much lighter, these silver ones. Let's go back in with these. See, they, they barely get by. They barely clear. They barely clear that, guys. It's not even... It's not a, this is not the, this is not the right tool for the job. I can feel it as I go through here that it's, it's, it's binding on the ring. So not what I would call a general duty, general purpose, freshwater pair of split ring pliers. You would have to, to get down. Uh. Oh, that sucked. My lucky tackle box, the hinge broke. Oh no. To go ahead and get this, which is that again, that ultra light. Like it, I can get the, the bottom jaw through. I can get it to spread, but that's, that's about it. Whereas if I recall correctly, yeah, so I can get that to spin. Not going to do it the rest of the way, but these, again, bigger, stronger, capable of removing larger rings from larger lures and larger uh, hangers and getting them through larger hook eyes, yet <laughs> smaller, <laughs> cheapened, um, doesn't. So yeah, guys, uh, all in all, run of the mill from rattle traps and jerk baits, square, square bills, deep divers, these will work okay if you can get a pair of the originals. I don't even know where to go with this. It's not even a review, I guess. It's more of me just saying uh, buy old stock of the orange handled Texas tackles because... This here is better than the Zuron for my plug collection, which is pretty pretty uh, wide ranging. Because I go from something like this little guy here to something like that. And a lot of my stuff, I don't even use split rings, I braze. You know, brazing super easy. Get yourself some silver solder, boom, some flux, boom, and a torch. Once you go from that, buy yourself some hardened rings, hardened stainless steel rings, and uh, you're good to go. These, this works great if you want to monkey around with some, some lures that have uh, connection points that don't facilitate a, uh, an easy application of a split ring. And there's there's tricks that you can actually get by 
Uh, let's see if I can do that right quickly. Okay, we're going to go ahead and grab one of these. We're going to go like this. Oh. I think this is a size 9 or a size... Yeah, this is probably size 9. We're going to grab my favorite split ring pliers. Okay. You can see how it's a little bit sketchy getting it on there. Okay, man. There we go. Sorry about that. But sometimes you run into an issue where you kind of go beyond the uh, the elasticity of the ring. But what you want to do here is kind of inside out that ring. Which see how it see how it passed through. Like that. 